Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful granny baby blanket. Now this is another variation on the 50-50 granny square series but this is one that you can use for making small squares but also one for making a really large blanket all from the same pattern, you don't have to stitch any together. So I'm calling this one the Granny Merge Blanket because obviously it's different designs at different times all merging it to make one beautiful, delicate baby blanket. Now obviously it doesn't have to be a baby blanket, it can be whatever you like. You can use absolutely any yarn of your choice and use the recommended hook size for whatever your yarn is. But I have chosen to use for my blanket a beautiful shapey swirl this is one of the ombre whirls and this is in the shade Forbidden Fuchsia. So I will leave a link in the description as always to where you can buy your yarn from. But I'm using Shapey's Whirl and a 3.5mm hook. But as I say, you can use any yarn, any hook size, the pattern will still work perfectly. But yeah, I'll just let you have a little look at what I've worked up so far. Obviously I've still got a lot of yarn to use so this is going to be a really good size baby blanket. And when it comes to the end of your project you can obviously add any border so if you watch till the end I always leave little clickable buttons in the video so that you can go to border series and, and any other videos that would interest you. But if this is your first time visiting the channel then please do hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. If you click that little bell button, you will get notifications. But let's just crack on. It's even folded. It just looks so beautiful and really delicate. But anyway, let's crack on with the Granny Merge Blanket. So I'm just using some leftover cotton yarn. Um, I can't even remember what the yarn is. I'm very sorry. And I can't even remember what hook size was originally recommended but I'm just going to wing it and I'm going for a 4mm for my yarn. Okay so as with all our granny squares we're going to start with a slip knot on your hook and you're going to start with a chain of 4. So yarn over and pull through. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you'll insert your hook into that very first stitch and you'll slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And then we have got a circle here to work our stitches into. So we're going to chain up two, so yarn over and pull through, that's one, two, and then into this centre ring here we're going to put two UK trebles. So I do work in UK terms but if you're in the US or any other place in the world then this will be your double crochet. So you'll yarn over, insert into that centre ring, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one treble. You'll do one more so yarn over insert back into that centre ring, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through two. So that is going to create our first granny cluster. So whenever I refer to a granny cluster it's basically three trebles all next to each other. That chain two that we did at the beginning of this granny cluster that counts as one of our trebles. So we want to create the corner, so we're going to chain two, one and two, and then back into that centre ring you're going to do another granny cluster, so that's three trebles. One, two, and three, chain two for the corner again and uh, you're going to do two more granny clusters so I'm going to work them with you but if you need to pause then do that now but two more granny clusters separated 
by the chain two. So that's one treble, two, three, chain two for the corner, and then one final set of trebles. So one, two, and three. And then we need to create our very final corner. So we'll do our chain two. And then we're ready to close off this first round. And we're going to do that with a slip stitch to the top of the chain two. So there's one and there's two. So you'll insert your hook into the top of the chain two, yarn over and pull through both to create your slip stitch. So that is round one complete. You now want to chain one, turn your work and we're going to slip stitch back into that corner space. So yarn over and pull through both. And by turning and by starting in the corners, we are going to make sure that our work stays absolutely perfectly square with no tilting, no distortion or anything. So to start the next round, we're going to chain two. That counts as the first treble, remember. And then into this corner space, we're going to do two more trebles. So straight into that corner space, you'll do one and two two trebles. So each side is going to change. So we're going to have a traditional granny side, a solid granny side, traditional and solid. So this is going to be our traditional side. So we've got our granny cluster of three trebles. We're going to chain one and we're going to skip across this group of trebles and we're going to work into the next corner space and we're going to do one granny cluster. So three trebles straight into that corner space, two and three. We need to create our new corner, so chain two. And now we're switching to the solid granny. So a solid granny, we only do two trebles in the corner. So the first, so each corner will have a split stitch. So you'll have one half traditional granny, the other half solid. So back into that same corner space you're going to do two trebles this time. One and two and then you're going to work into the tops of these trebles. So you've got three stitches to work into so yarn over, go through the top of that treble, make sure you get the V on the top, go through the whole of the stitch and complete your treble. So that's the first one through the top of the next one and through the top of that third one and then in the corner space you're doing two trebles so one and two so that finishes our solid side chain two and then we're switching back to traditional so we're going to do a granny cluster which is the three trebles remember back into that corner space two, three and we need to separate our traditional with a chain one and then we're going to skip across these trebles and straight into the next corner space we will do a granny cluster. So one, two, three. So that's our traditional side done again. Chain two for the corner and then our final side will be a solid, will be a solid granny again. So we're going to do two trebles in the corner space. One and two. And then one treble into the top of the three trebles. So one, two, three and then in this final corner space we need to do the other half of it so we need to finish with our two trebles to finish off our solid side 
final corner so you need to do your chain two and then we're ready to slip stitch to the top of that chain two that we did at the beginning so insert your hook and slip stitch and that is how you should be looking at the end of round two so I decided to switch every four so if I just bring back my original one that I'm working on you can see I did four rows of traditional and four rows of solid and then we swapped and did four rows of solid and then swap back to four rows of traditional again. So we've done two. So we want two more rows with the exact same process. So I will do one more row with you and then I will leave you to do the next row and then we will swap around. So at the end of each round we're going to chain one and turn and slip stitch back into that corner space. So obviously every time you turn your work you will be working back along the edge that you have just completed. So you always want to start with your chain two and this time we're working the solid side so we want one more treble in that chain space and then we're going to work one treble into the top of each treble along seven and two trebles into the chain space to finish off this solid edge chain two for your corner and now we're on the traditional edge so we're going to do a granny cluster in the corner space so granny cluster is always three trebles one two and three chain one and you're going to jump across into your next chain space and you're going to do a granny cluster two, three, chain one and you should be at your next corner space and again granny cluster, two and three and we're going to swap again now so chain two and work your solid edge. So if you want to continue that around now alternating between your solid and your traditional and I will meet you back and we will talk about the next steps. I'm pretty much back where we started from. I've done, I'm on my traditional granny side but I need to make sure that I work my final granny cluster into this very first corner space that we did earlier on. So one two and three so remember to always do your chain two to create that final corner and slip stitch into the top of that very first chain two chain one and you'll turn and slip stitch back into that chain space once more so we've now got three rounds of the same stitches so you're going to do one more round now with exactly the same as what you have got so you'll do your traditional solid traditional solid so if you need to rewind then do that now and just watch that bit again but otherwise I will just leave you to do it so you'll chain up two and start off going this way with your traditional and I will meet you as you close off for the end of round four. Here we go, so I have completed now my fourth and final round of the same stitches and now we're ready to switch up and turn to alternating the solid with the traditional. So I've done my slip stitch and I've turned, so now I'm going to chain up two as normal and this first time we're going to be switching from the solid to the traditional so we will start with a granny cluster 
So we'll have our three trebles, but remember that chain two counts as your first one. You'll chain one. You'll skip the top of three trebles. So you'll skip one, two, and three. And into the fourth treble, you will do a granny cluster. One, two, three, chain one, skip three stitches, so one, two, three, and into the fourth, you'll do your next granny cluster. One, two, and three, chain one, skip three, and cluster into the fourth, two, three, chain one, and then you should be skipping your final three stitches and working into your corner space, so you'll do your granny cluster. chain two and now we're switching from traditional to solid so we're going to do two trebles in the corner one two and then we're going to work a treble into the top of these three trebles so one two, three, and then you'll put a treble into the chain one space, so one treble into the chain one space, and then trebles into the tops of the stitches, two, and three, and again treble in the chain one, and we'll just continue working this side together for now because obviously we're nearly at the corner again. So trebles into the tops of these stitches, treble in the chain one space, two and treble into that final stitch and then you're at your corner space where you will complete your two trebles because we're still on the solid side. Chain two. And then again, we're ready to switch back to the traditional. So you'll do your cluster in the chain space for the corner. Chain one skip three trebles and cluster in the fourth. So you should be able to pause or rewind those last two sides to complete this round and that is where I will meet you in just a second. So I've done that all the way around now. I've finished off with my solid side and I've slip stitched to the top. You'll do it three times all, obviously we've got the four rows of solid, then you will do your four rows of traditional and then you will swap back again in the exact same way that we've just done. So along your traditional granny you will do a solid edge and along your solid edge you will switch back to um, the traditional granny. So yeah, you should be able now to use the rows of the tutorial that we have done already to complete lots of small squares or to complete the large blanket like I've started here. So yeah, four rounds and then you switch, four rounds and then you switch. So hopefully you will be able to continue that now. So you can see it does look really nice all in a solid colour as well. So you don't have to be using um, whirls or anything like that. You can use absolutely any yarn that you wish and the pattern will still look really, really good. So that is it for this one. I really do hope that you have enjoyed it and please do remember to rewind or watch any other parts of it again that you might find that you need to. 
but all the information now should be there for you to continue working that square up. But I will see you for another tutorial very, very soon. Bye for now.